What's up guys? I want to talk about when bad things happen after doing a ritual and why is that and what to do about it. Well, first off, um, this usually happens around the beginning when people start getting familiar with magic and they start, you know, getting their stuff going. Oftentimes that's what it takes to move things around. You know, like it's kind of like tearing down the old and building the new. So if you do a ritual, a powerful ritual, and all of a sudden all this bad shit starts happening to you, you can pretty much guarantee your magic's working. And often we don't freaking, uh, we'll get the results we want, but it's often not in the way we want, you know? Like sometimes, hey, you might ask for some money and some money comes your way and there you go, that's that. But oftentimes when you're being redirected to something else, or you need a change, um, yeah, your life can be disrupted and it could look like things are falling apart. So if this happens to you and you haven't experienced this yet, just try to look at it from as many angles as possible of why that could be happening. Um, sometimes there's just hard lessons we need to learn for our own good and whomever we're working with will just sit back and watch it happen to us because that's what we need. You know, we don't change when things are good and we're comfortable. Oh no, it always takes something bad or some life disruption and stuff for things to change. So that's what goes on there. I remember back in July, I um, was looking at some comments. Um, a bunch of people did a group ritual. It was like a new moon ritual for new beginnings. And I guess there's a lot of people new to magic, but they had the power of the group. And so I was reading the comments a few days later and 70%, I swear, like somewhere around there, people were freaking out because bad things were happening and disrupting their life right after the ritual. And, you know, it scared them because when you don't understand exactly what's happening, that's fucking terrifying. You're like, I did magic. Now I ruined my life. Way to go. You know, but that's what was happening there. The ritual was powerful and it was getting things moving for people. And I'm really glad that I had this knowledge before I started experiencing it because, mm, yeah, it can be really rough um, at first whenever shit like that starts happening. <laughs> but um, I don't know what else that I want to say. I know I wanted to say that real quick because that does scare a lot of people off from magic whenever they experience that and not knowing what's going on. And that's why they say careful what you wish for. You know, you can be really specific about what you want. But the more specific you are, the more you're cutting your options from them to bring you what you desire. So, and you don't want to be really vague. So I guess you got to find like some Goldilocks shit with it, you know. But, you know, if there's something you really, really, really want, you know, you'll probably get those results. But maybe not in the way you want. Sometimes you might. I don't know. It's just, it all depends. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Because, yeah, that can be really terrifying when you think you've just messed up and probably should never touch magic and all that stuff. But, yeah, if you're going through that or experience that, just know your magic's working and that's what's going on. Take a deeper look at things and try to figure out what lesson you need to learn. Maybe problems you didn't know you had have been brought to the surface you need to deal with. You know, things like that. So, anyways, y'all have a good night.